Hey guys, it's Michael and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This time with the first video of the new workout series, I'm going to introduce you to all the new workouts in this current cycle after the competition prep and I will explain you in detail why I do what I do. So definitely stay tuned for the video. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have questions, let me know in the comment section. Check out the products, link in the description. We have the belts back in stock. The book is releasing soon, so make sure to check them out. Set number eight or something. Um, what I'm trying to learn, or what I'm trying to understand is how to really initiate a fast upward rotation of the elbows. Because I feel uh, I have so much more in the tank when it comes to muscle ups, but I just use super, super inefficient transition technique. So yeah, it's back to body weight. I did some weighted sets in before, um, yeah, just to maintain the level, but for now, um, some practice sets with body weight, really just super low repetitions, high sets to get a bit of practice in for the transition. Take a look at my lovely upgrade. I think in an earlier video when I introduced these bars to you the first time, it was the old version and now I have the customized ones. You can now put them even wider. The outside is fixed and the inside is movable, uh, which makes it much more stable. And you can also now fix it in position here so that it's not shaking at all anymore. Super, super nice. Check it out, home gym builders. Before was my top set, four repetitions, 80 kg. I'm trying to improve my depression also here, going down very controlled, controlled reverse point on top, trying to really focus on resetting my depression, finish every set with a short hold, trying to really maintain elbows over the wrists. I always also film with my phone from top, so YouTube from the side, so I can make sure that I really balance out my dip. Um, that's also why I train pretty light at the moment, as there is a lot of yeah form focus and I need to get rid of a lot of small form mistakes that I just trained into due to the high intensity, which is super, super normal, because when intensity is going up in the competition prep, you automatically rely on the structures that are already developed, that are stronger. Now in this current phase, um, yeah, I really wanna focus on the weaknesses and not priming the strengths even more. So yeah, back to lightweight and technique focus.
Also with the main lift, we're getting some variation in. So instead of chin-ups, we're going with the neutral grip chin-up. Uh, I don't quite like the setup because I need to uh, tuck my legs and cannot quite hang as I would like to, but it works. Uh, why neutral grip? Just to provide a bit of variation for the arm flexors and also to not stress the shoulders too much from the supinated grip. And also, it usually provides me a bit more range of motion and I use more shoulder extension so we can condition the top range of motion a bit better as with those high intensities, usually you just barely pull the chin over. And as we're now far away from the competition, we can keep the range of motion a bit higher. And to maintain proper form, we are working with a couple of low drops. So I start a top set at 45 kg, drop to um, 40 so by 5 kg and then now for the last two sets I drop by another 5 kg just to maintain proper form. If you want to get more details about assistance exercises and how to program them to really get better in the main weighted competition lift, you should definitely check out my upcoming book, Understanding Calisthenics. For each main lift of the competition, you will find a very, very big chapter about assistance exercises, strength assistance, hypertrophy assistance, health assistance, and how to program and use it to really get to peak performance. So definitely pre-order it now. It's 20% on pre-sale, so make sure to get your copy. Next exercise on the list is overhead press. I haven't done any overhead pressing in the last three blocks, so it's time to bring that back into the rotation really training shoulder over the full range of motion as the overhead press basically completes the shoulder rotation from the dip to the full shoulder flexion and for health purposes to be a complete athlete and you know to not be limited by certain structures you never train um, I definitely can recommend you to train through full range of motion and that means you also need to do overhead stuff from time to time. Four sets, seven reps at 60 kg. Next exercise on the list, chest supported rows. I really focus on a lot of reach. So I'm pressing my ribs back in space, shoulders forward, letting the weight really pull me long. And then I try to maintain that compressed scapula towards the rib cage. And then I row back and allow it just as much as retraction that I need to bring the arm back because I really want to work on keeping that scapula compressed to the rib cage. Also a component that was missing during the prep, as you can never train at all. Um, there's always the right time, the right space for every kind of exercise. And this is now the right time and the right space.
Next exercise in the rotation, um, cable rows half kneeling. These add a pretty nice rotational component to the program. Also, in this phase, I will do a shitload of rowing volume as we mainly focus on vertical pulling with muscle-ups, pull-ups, chin-ups in the competition prep. And now it's time to build. And yeah, that's why there is so much rowing volume in. And this one I highly enjoy, so let's go. Yeah. 